Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Answer Me TV. For those of who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by smashing the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my updates. Top 4 Major Bridges in Zimbabwe Number 1. Birchenough Bridge Birchenough Bridge is called after Sir Henry Birchenough. Located 62 kilometers from Chipinga in the Manicaland province of Zimbabwe linking Chipinga with Bohira. The bridge was funded at a cost of £145,000 and planned by the Bight Trust, a foundation chaired at the time by Sir Henry Birchenough whose ashes are buried beneath the structure of the bridge. Ralph Freeman, the bridge's designer, was also the structural designer on the Sydney Harbour Bridge and consequently the two bridges bear a close resemblance. Although Birchenough is only two-thirds as long as the Australian Bridge. It was built by Dorman Long and completed in 1935. At a length of 1,080 feet, 329 meters, it was the third longest single arch suspension bridge in the world at the time. In the 1970s a 40-ton load limit was imposed on the bridge, but in 1984 the bridge was widened, roadway, 7.2 meters to 10 meters wide and strengthened as part of the World Bank's Highway Project 1. The bridge is widely considered by Zimbabweans as being one of the country's finest pieces of engineering, and as such, it appears on the 20-cent coin. The Zimbabwe Department of Roads has reduced its load capacity not to allow any vehicle weighing more than 25 tons. This had reduced business activities in the areas nearby since heavy vehicle trucks will not be allowed to cross the bridge. The Chirunda Bridges the Chirunda Bridge consists of two road bridges side by side across the Zambezi River between the small town of Chirundu, Zambia and the village of Chirundu, Zimbabwe. At this location around 65 kilometers downstream from the Kariba Dam the river is about 400 meters wide. The bridges were once seen as part of a Cape to Cairo road and thus are on the Harare to Lusaka section of the route. Number 2 The Otto Bight Bridge, 1939 the first Chirunda Bridge is the Otto Bight Bridge built in 1938-1939 by Dorman Long and financed by the Bight Trust, which funded most of Central and Southern Africa's colonial-era bridges including the Bight Bridge across the Limpopo River, the Kafui Bridge, and the Luangwa Bridge. The Otto Bight Bridge was the first modern suspension bridge outside the United States built with parallel wire cables. It has a span of 382 meters, main span 320 meters. As it was built two decades before the Kariba Dam, the engineers had to consider the annual Zambezi flood, now tamed by the dam, hence the requirement for a single span, which the second bridge did not need. It cost £186,000 to build and was opened on May 24, 1939 by Lady Lillian Bight, widow of Otto Bight. The Otto Bight Bridge is a single-lane bridge, with traffic operating in alternating directions, leading to congestion. Secondly, the maintenance of steel suspension bridges is considerable, with cables needing replacement when they corrode, and the age of the bridge also places restrictions on the loads it can carry. Consequently, Zambia and Zimbabwe identified the need for a second bridge, number three. The second Chirunda Bridge, 2002, the second Chirunda Bridge was built by the Kajima Corporation in 2000-2002 and opened on December 12, 2002. It is 90 meters upstream from the Otto Bight Bridge, using the same approaches and border control area. It is a two-lane, three-span continuous pre-stressed concrete box girder bridge, 400 meters long and 10.3 meters wide. The pre-contract services started around August 1999 and Nippon Koei Company. Limited were the project engineering consultants with Chodai Company. Limited consulting engineers as bridge specialists. Number 4. The Victoria Falls Bridge. The Victoria Falls Bridge crosses the Zambezi River just below the Victoria Falls and is built over the second gorge of the falls. As the river forms the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia, the bridge links the two countries and has border posts on the approaches to both ends at the towns of Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, and Livingstone, Zambia. The Victoria Falls Bridge was the inspiration of Cecil Rhodes, who was reported to have said, build the bridge across the Zambezi where the trains, as they pass, 
will catch the spray of the falls. This was part of Rhodes' unfulfilled Cape to Cairo railway scheme, yet sadly, he never even got to visit the falls and died before construction of the bridge began. The parabolic arch design of the Victoria Falls Bridge is credited to George Hobson. It was constructed in England by the Cleveland Bridge and Engineering Company and shipped to the Mozambique port of Beira and then railed up to Victoria Falls. In a feat of Victorian engineering, the bridge took just 14 months to build it was opened by Charles Darwin's son, Professor George Darwin, President of the British Association, now the Royal Society, on September 12, 1905. Constructed from steel, the bridge is 198 meters, 650 feet, long with the main arch spanning 156.50 meters, 513.5 feet, at a height of 128 meters, 420 feet, above the Zambezi River. It is a road, a railway and a footbridge. The bridge is the only rail link between Zambia and Zimbabwe and one of only three road links between the two countries at a cost of 72,000 pounds.